Hey guys, this is DFD, aka Dark Pros and Depths, back with another Kami Hime project video. I just went back and accepted some gifts and whatnot. They're doing another login thing where we're getting pretty much half elixirs and magic jewels. I don't know if it means we're getting some little discount or whatever. I'll look into it in a second. But um, a few things that definitely need it pointed out. First and foremost, we have new wing characters. I'm not exactly sure how good they are. Apparently, they went with some really serious lolly theme with this because the new R character honestly passes an Opal lolly if you want to go that route, but the other two definitely are flat out lolly, so they're really lolly oriented this time. But, um, this is the big thing that caught my attention when I looked at this. So, there's characters that had rebalances in the works. I don't know if full details, but this made quite a few of them pretty strong, so I'm going to post the, um, the link to the Kami Hime in, in the, um, one of the comments, but the thing that definitely stands out the most is definitely this one right here, Amon Unleashed. If this is what I think it is, they rebalance the Mon, so I think she gets C frame defense dropped instead of um clashing with Satan. So that means it will overlap the Nodus's um defense drop, and Awaken Satan can go in there with a Mon. They are a very powerful combination if you do have them. I think that's what happened with that one. There's a lot of interesting balances, and to be quite honest, I have everybody on this list. So, I don't fully know. But I do indeed have everybody on this list. I, I think even Sadi. So, that's something to know. They balance some weapons, too. I don't know what... Don't tell me those are the, um, the soul weapons. Okay, there's a lot of stuff we gotta... There's a lot of stuff I gotta look over, so I'm gonna have to go and see if I can find these soul weapons too. The Dragon Slave weapons, the Bow Monk, and the, and the Ars Nova. So I'm gonna have to go into the, the list and see those as well. This is stuff I'm just now looking at, so yeah, bear with me with that, guys. But anyways, new gacha campaigns, if you really care about them too much. You can get some win accessories if you want to try that out. It's the same standard SR guaranteed. Nothing really special about it unless you just want some extra win stuff. The weapon ticket gotcha, however. Now keep in mind, this isn't going to give you a Kamihime weapon from the ticket. The pools might still give you Kamihime weapons and all that. But keep in mind that these are the SSR weapons that you have to trade Dragonic Eye Shards for. To be quite honest, those are some seriously powerful and absurdly strong weapons, when, especially you can final break them. If you've seen previous videos where I used my win team, and I had um, Shingen use her burst, that bow that she had equipped is one of these weapons. It will heal everybody by 3,000 upon burst. That is strong. So that said, I can attest I have a few of these weapons they are actually pretty good. So you may or may not want to pull for these. It depends on what your um, standpoints are. Keep in mind it still is random. These are the SSR weapons that used to be in the gacha but got removed. So keep that in mind. But um... Same typical stuff that I said before. Ginyan event. You get R weapons. I mean um, SR, SSR weapons and stuff. That's nothing new. So yeah, it's the same t typical stuff. People should know how this works by now unless you're brand new. If you are brand new, I've done videos on practically every Union event. There's, They're easy to find. They're all over the place. So there's that. I'm going to double check this maintenance complete just to see if they did anything else. Final break limit. Oh. There's one I've been waiting on. Oh, I gotta double check that. Moonlight Bow. I've had that thing so beefed up, it makes no sense. 
and is already skill level 20. I've managed to pull Sukiyomi like five times, so I got a fully upgraded copy of that, even to the point of plus 99. I've been waiting for that. I'm all over that weapon. But, um, they did the game balance. It says matter fix. It said something about SP quest. We're about to check that out real quick. Because for a while, raid quest, quest was discounted. And it helped me get my, um, my Herc Axe all the way up. It really greatly helped that out. Okay, so, um... There is nothing special about those. I'm curious to see if the raid quests are still discounted. You'll be able to tell what they are. Next thing I'm absolutely checking out is that Tsukiyomi bow. If I can hit final break that thing, I am all over it. If I have the chance to, I am all over it. But if I'm right, I think I'm going to need another Ori Chalcon. Or uh, Ori Chalcon. I hate how they call it cons. Okay, no, no, no. They're back to normal now, unfortunately. And yes, I have not started this yet, but I can indeed participate in it. The thing about the Ragnarok raid is the simple fact that it is a very difficult one if you try to go at it alone. There is ways to make the fight easier, but who knows. You might still get smited. They didn't add any of the other ones, unfortunately. But if you are trying to hunt down phantom weapons, I suggest you do these. Phantom weapons are strong, but exceedingly rare. Oh, and the Woku popped up on main page, because guess who I'm about to check out? Her weapon. I've been waiting for this to get Final Break, because I was so set up for it. I'm curious to see if I can do it now. Uh, Yeah, see, this is the uh, Phoenix Bow I had right there, and this is what I'm talking about. This is going to start looking like the Phoenix Bow in a second. Well, not in a second, but eventually. So, let's see what the Final Break stats actually are. Probably going to up the Ray Assault and nothing more. Yeah, Ray Assault becomes Shine Assault, but that still helps. Because that Luminous Defender, it's going to increase its cap from 16% um, to 21%. So I'm going to get even more Defender. But because that Shine Assault's also going up, just Final Breaking it, it's going to immediately get the Shine Assault jumping from 10% to 13%. But the fact that it goes up to skill level 30, I think it goes up to, uh, 18%. So, that's still very good. Not to mention more stats. Now, the question is, do I have enough Ori Chalcon to do this? Because if I don't, I gotta go into Guild Order and start doing it. That's the only time I'm really doing Guild Order at this point, if I really need the Ori Chalcon, Because there's a few final break, break weapons I can do. And yes, I do. I need... Oh. Oh, I've got my work cut out for me. E looks like I'm going back to Light Catastrophe. I've already got some materials. But I need gold hooks, too. Oh. Ugh. Well, yeah, that was the final break. Um... Crap. Okay, or Chalcon's not too hard to get. It's the other stuff that's going to take some time. Unfortunately. Yee. But yeah, as you can see, there's quite a few that got, like, high break limits, but let's really, um... Go into play, because there's a few other stuff I can get. Okay, so high skill level, you're prepared for it. You're also prepared for it. You're getting there. And you're also getting there. Wait, was that the Rahab knife? Yeah, that was a Rahab knife. I forgot about that. Yeah, see, there's quite a few that can actually do it. But, um... Like I said, I'm starting to need these things. A lot. So, yeah...
And I've got quite a few of these. There's about to be more that I might be able to get. Uh, yeah, see, there's a whole bunch of Final Break stuff, and I really have been doing Guild Order a lot more, to be quite honest. But, uh, yeah. But the other thing is, I can still get Orichalic Hunt from the Ragnarok race. But now, I gotta remember what those um, weapons were. Because these we can find out here. And I mean, I am. Uh, I intend on looking at them. So, Dragon Slay, Bow Monk, and Ars Nova. I get the feeling that two of them deals with Siegfried. So, we gotta go to the shop. So, for I have no clue how far down the list are gonna be at. Um. So yeah, let's just go through them all. Because I am almost certain these are soul weapons we're looking for. I don't need any more of these. Yeah, there's an Ars Nova. So what does it do now? Book of Razio's shortened turn. I think that's her um her all element skill that Okay. So that's not too bad. Balmonk. Siegfried, as I thought. Overdrive is activated twice. I gotta go see what Overdrive does, because that might actually put Siegfried up as a little bit more useful now. And the Dragon Sleeps are our other weapon, of course. Special Raging Effect to Morale Boost. Why Raging? I know why Raging. Okay, so now I have to go into the party and see. Okay. So overdrive and morale boost is the two things I need to really look at. If I'm allowed to see them as abilities. No, Solomon rings one, so Book of Raziel is a stackable. So wait, it kills a turn off of its cool- Wow. You can stack it every two turns. That's actually extremely good. Morale boost and overdrive. Okay. So I guess it's going to get rid of some of the raging meter a little bit more. And the other one was related to Overdrive, I'm not exactly sure, but it's got Raging Boost. Oh, it said it activates twice, so that means... It... Actually, that's quite a lot of damage. If it's activating twice, that is 8x to 10x, so that is... Okay, Siegfried is looking very strong. I'm not gonna lie, Siegfried is actually starting to look very strong. At least when it comes to dealing with the um, meters. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's very good, actually. Now, I remember. Um, uh, it was in my party, I think. I had a party that had the dark characters in there. I think Amon was in it. Oh, you can bet your ass I'm trying to get that um, that bow upgraded. So I'm going to be a little bit busy. Whoops, wrong direction. And I just went past them. Double derp. Okay, yeah, there she is. There, there she is. There she is.
The Nettles is actually pretty good for burst generation, too, so I may still have her in there. But Amon is actually better off. Way better off. So let's check the details. Yes, I'm still leveling characters. Hopefully this Sunday I can do some more stuff with it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, she does mode gauge now with that. Dark damage and stun duration. And if I remember, this got moved to the same frame for the Estonado, so that should now be C frame. Which makes it even more powerful. But my god, this is a lot of damage, though. 7 to 7.5x multiplier, that is strong. Raging meters are going to get pissed on. And then when she bursts, she gets, um... Everybody's dark attack goes, oh yeah, I have to put her in the front lines now. Thanatos is fired. I'm sorry, but Thanatos is fired. I'm going to change that right now on screen, on camera. I don't care. I may still have the Nottos in the um, sub slots just because, but um, the Nottos is fired from the front lines. Yes, indeed. But that's what I'm talking about. Amon and Satan is going to go very, very good hand in hand. Matter of fact, let's not even go off there. I'm just going to show what Awakened Satan can do. Just right here. Deals dark damage and absorbs the charge turn. Energy drain. And defense down. This goes well in hand with raging meters. The raging nukes are usually the more dangerous ones. That's what I'm getting at. Then on top of that, when she gets high enough level, I do believe one of these skills gets upgraded to um, include some dark attack buffing or something like that. So, yeah, that's going to be a very, very strong combination. But before I end this, I'm going to do this one thing for the um, Union event. I'm going in there just to see what the weapons are. So I can actually um, confirm what the stuff is. If you have the gun before, it's, pr it's pretty easy to confirm it. You just go see what the final break is, which I could have did on that screen, but I didn't realize... And they've already started going to work. I'm not going to accept any rewards until I get some participation points. That's just how I am. But, um... The participation points aren't going to be too hard. I just spam loans for the first few days just to try and build up the grails. But, um... It's more than likely going to be on a later page, this... Oh, and just a reminder, if you're like me and have no use for the Holy Soul Points, still try to get them anyway, because, you know, easy access to, um, what's his name, the, uh, Mastery Points. And if you feel like you need to, save one, save the Willem. There will eventually be a Thunder Ride Dolan that, um, works like Monogarmer, but with a much powerful supply. Oh, that's what that is. I'm very close to getting another one of these in. Yeah, and that's the other reason why you should keep it, too, because Assault is very good on its own. Burst Increase. Very, very good. 
And unfortunately, you won't know what you get with these. Those are randomized. <coughs> Excuse me. You might luck out and get all attack. You might find something else. Speaking of which, I did luck out and get a very, very interesting weapon. I mean, uh, accessory as well. Oh, there's another one. Uh... Okay, I don't think I'm going to find it there. Let me see where it is. Because I want to see what that gun does. Especially since, if, if I heard this correctly, this is probably the last time we'll see this Union event. Because they're going to, um... They're going to do a... This is the last time Gluttony's going to show up. Because they'll repeat them all pretty much one more time and then go into, um... A brand new Union event. But yeah, Pride's a normal effect... Crit rate, that's the other thing, okay. This is one of the ones that gives crit. Because I think there's two that give crit. But yeah. So that more or less sums that all up. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this. I only showed them on, but there's going to be others that you may want to check out. So I'm going to leave the link to that in, in the description. It is this tab I have up here on the far left up there. I keep that hot tab. I keep this hot tab just so I can quickly see the scenes too. That's an interesting little thing. This is also hot tab because of the simple fact that um that's for uh Senshi's Revenge. That's the Japanese wiki for that. But anyways, I'm going to um stop that right there. I locked this because of how good it is. Honestly, I need to lock a few more of them because of how good they look. But when do you ever see this? I had to save that. I had to. Triple defense? That's rare. Someone's going to be tanky. And then, um... I guess these are the ones that got upgraded all the way up. Yeah, they have to be the level 50s. Because that now has a heal 5. In fact, I need to go show... This is going to be the last thing I show, because this is the whole thing about what I said about with some of these accessories. The healing ones can actually be pretty powerful. If, you, if you're like me and don't have any ascension weapons, which I really could have had. But the thing is, too, is the fact that there's other ways around the ascension. And interestingly enough, I've only ever found them on the light accessories, so... What's that saying? This is where planning your accessories can help, and since the Union event does feed them, you might want to try. You get fed SSR for pretty much grinding out Union event. My teams are so ridiculously unbalanced, but I will, I will admit that I am trying to bring up the weaker ones now. But yeah, let's see what the confirmed effects are. She gets seven percent more healing. Seven percent more healing off of what she has. I do believe this was, no, this was max level. I do believe, and this one's getting close. I'll check them all right now. Okay, yeah, that's level 41. It's getting close. It's only got a 1%, but it'll upgrade. This one upgraded to a flat 5. And that's also 1%. They're going to upgrade more. I think they'll turn in a 3. If not a 3%, they'll turn in a 5. Yeah, I think that was a 3 and turns into a 5, and I think these will turn into 3 as well. So they'll give her 11%. But, yeah, you see what I mean? That fits her so well. Because now her heals are going to be even more potent. I think they go past 2800, maybe 2900 now, with her buff. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Even though they're all rings, unfortunately. In fact, I'd have the ring effect if I ever got these. Unfortunately... We can't get these yet. It's going to be very hard to do so. But, um... Anyways, that's all for now. 
And like I said, there's definitely going to be this posted in the, um, in the comments somewhere because that's to check out any other stuff that I did not cover. But anyways, double check some of these abilities and whatnot if you had those comments he made. They're, some of them look very, very promising. Even for the weaker characters like like Siegfried, because Siegfried does not seem all that great. But now that she has those boosts, she can be very serviceable. She was only used for, like, raising and stun, but it can help. And then, like I said, in a, in a previous video, stun nuking is very, very strong if you can pull it off. Because if you have a team full of stun nukers, you will dish out so much damage, it's not funny. Even if they're a mixed element, it can still do quite a bit of damage. I've seen it. I might even try to pull it off in a video. It'll take a hell of a lot of timing, but I might try to pull it off in a video. I think I got enough stun nukers to do that. But anyways, that's all for now, guys. More of this will come soon, and take care. Also, one more thing as well. Getting close to 1,000 subscribers. I've noticed that. I'm planning on quite a few things if I do actually hit it, so... Just look forward to that whenever it does happen, because it seems like it will eventually. Maybe within the coming week, maybe within the coming month, I don't know. But that's all for now, guys. Take care.